Whatever this is, looks like that's the way in. After you, dude. Here it goes. What do you see? Please don't say more stairs. It's the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Ah, so bright. That's my body, Axel. My broken, battered body. Second. The ground is. What in the? It's made of wool. This tree, the grass, it's, it's all wool. You're telling me that we've been resting all our hopes on this guy, and the whole time he's been building some totally artificial happy land? Well, it's real wool. It's real evidence that Soren is whacked. I guess after all this time to himself, Soren might have gone a little off. A little is being generous. It kind of makes sense. The other members of the Order haven't exactly been all there. We came here for nothing. What are we even supposed to do now? What's the matter with you? Why are you acting like this? Just look around, Jesse! If the greatest builder of all time has spent years working on this, what are the chances he's even gonna have that bomb, huh? I got enough crazy for one day. What's his problem? He seems pretty upset. Maybe he's allergic to wool. I don't know what's eating him. Hey, Petra. So, on a scale of ugh to ugh, how bad are you feeling? Somewhere in between, but I'm holding on for now. Have you ever seen anything weirder than this place? Actually, yeah. I once saw a villager dig a huge trench and fill it with, like, a million carrots. How do you think Soren managed to get out of here without leaving any clues behind? He is the greatest builder of all time. If anybody knew how to put in the secretest of secret doors, it's him. So I'm probably looking for... Well, to open a secret door... You need a secret mechanism. I guess I'm gonna keep looking around. Look away. Hey, Reuben. <coughs> you doing okay, buddy? <coughs> High five, Reuben. I know I'm supposed to be looking for something, Reuben. Any idea what? What's that, boy? You see something over there? Well, I'm gonna keep looking. Thought you could trick me, huh, fake son? Well, it's not gonna work. What's up, Jesse? Either of you guys know what's eating Lucas? Well, as a longtime observer of human behavior... We have no idea. Try, you know, talking to him. You both doing okay? Could be worse. Could be better. 
Found anything interesting? Just that button. Doesn't really seem to do anything, though. I'm gonna keep poking around. Right. Hmm, didn't do anything. It sounds like the music is coming through the wall. Cool. Well, at least that's not made of wool. Must be all sorts of hidden water systems in this place. Neat! What's your problem, Lucas? Listen, I know I've been prickly, okay? But... Jesse, I think... something's wrong... with Petra. I mean, you have to have noticed... the lack of energy... the labored breathing... What... exactly are you saying, Lucas? There's something wrong, okay? Something big. It's not fooling anybody. At least not me. Look, Lucas Petra's sick. How long have you known? A while, but she asked me not to say anything. The wither infected her with something. So everything I was worried about is true. This is my fault, Jesse. Petra's wither sickness, it's because of me. So that's why you've been so angry? Because you feel guilty? If I hadn't choked, you would have been able to pull Petra out of that tractor beam sooner. For all we know, Petra didn't get sick until way after that. Maybe you're right. If one of our best fighters is sick... Do we even stand a chance anymore? Not like we haven't dealt with some grade A problems before, but... I just can't help feeling kind of... hopeless. If we stick together, we can do anything. Even something that feels impossible. It just feels extra impossible now. Then we stick together extra hard. Okay. I just kind of wish Petra would tell everybody. It would just make things easier. Hey, Jesse. You haven't found a way out of here, have you? Honestly, I haven't even been looking. I just... I just need a little alone time right now. How are you holding up? I'm not the one you need to worry about. Uh, I kinda need to get at that lever you're blocking. Yep.
That's weird. Hey, everyone, I think I found Soren's way out. Way to go, Jesse. That's awesome. Nice sleuthing, Jesse. Sorry I wasn't more help back there. When I think back to how I ran all over Endercon looking for Ivor, or when I got that skull, it's hard to imagine I did any of that. Now that I'm like this. Don't even worry about it, Petra, and don't apologize. I, uh... Thanks. We'll check out the rest of the house. See if we can find Soren before he finds us. Guess the water system isn't just for the outside. Not that the outside was actually the outside. You could fit hundreds of people in here, but it doesn't look like it's being used for much of anything. Well, the music's louder. I don't hear anyone talking in there. Let's see what's going on behind this door. Symphony in E. <laughs> A new composition to celebrate my newest discovery. That's him! This time, I observed Soren. place a block on top of another block. <laughs> what the? Rudimentary, yes, but... It's just a recording. Of undeniable intelligence. <laughs> I hope I'm not imagining things. <laughs> After <laughs> all that, <laughs> he's not even here? <laughs> I better eat something. I'm positively lightheaded with excitement. We came all this way, and for what? We're no closer to Soren than before. We can't give up now. Soren had to have been here at some point, right? Which means this place has got to be crawling with clues. Odds are it's crawling with something. Maybe there's something useful well, on this record. My next step can figure is out what he's whether talking they might be about. able to be persuaded to build collaboratively. Hmm. I've worked up a simple set of building instructions to inspire them. I will disguise myself and hide among them in order to observe them more closely. Oh. Hmm. Oh, hide among them. Hide among who? Uh, Jesse? Do you think Soren is talking about them? <laughs> Then again, everything else about this guy has been pointing to crazy. No way that's what he means. That's nuts. You heard that recording. He's trying to get them to build. You think he's actually training Enderman to build stuff? I think he thinks he's training Enderman to build stuff. Let's look around, see what we could find out. Olivia, check it out. An Enderman... suit? Either Soren's got a very unique fashion sense, or... Wait a second! This must be the disguise Soren was talking about on the recording. In order to walk amongst the Enderman, you have to become an Enderman. Ah, oh, it smells like one, apparently. Woof!
Kinda stinky, but it fits. Ugh, more than kinda stinky, I'm sorry to say. It's so weird. I know it's you in there, but I still don't want to look at you. I found something. What you got? It's definitely some sort of crafting recipe. But why would someone as brilliant as Soren need a recipe for a shape that simple? Because they're not for Soren. They're for the Endermen. This must be what he's trying to teach them to build. Okay, so, if Soren is using those blueprints to teach the Endermen to build, and there's a disguise missing from the stand... He must be conducting his experiment right now. Of course! The missing disguise is the one he had to put on before going outside. Which means if we want to get to Soren, oh, we have to go out there to do it. You know that's really creepy, right? Huh? The Ender Suit. I keep wanting to not look at you. It's so disturbing. I'm sorry. You go ahead and build with those Endermen outside. I'll just wait here. Those instructions called for clay blocks, just like this one. I'll take this one, too. That's three I've grabbed so far. This one, too. It's a good thing they can't see me through this glass. <sighs> you find anything useful? <sighs> Worth asking. Looks like this is the last block in here. Hang on a second. Soren in disguise looks like any old Enderman, and so will you. How are you going to find him? Walk up to every Enderman out there and say, Hey, are you Soren? The whole point of the disguise is to avoid that kind of attention. Soren's trying to teach the Enderman to build the shape in those instructions, right? I bet if I complete it, that would really get his attention. Try not to die, okay? I'd really hate to have to watch that from behind this protective glass. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay, we've just got to get Soren's attention and avoid attracting theirs.
six blocks to finish that shape in Soren's instructions. And this guy's got the only block around. Down, five to go. I just hope that Soren's watching wherever he is. False evidence of Enderman intelligence accomplished. Nothing to see here, guys. Just walk away. Okay, they're not walking away. Definitely not walking away. I am sorry about this, but it has to look real. I I don't think it'll bruise. Your, your face, I... These suits were built with durability in mind. You must be Soren. I am, but must I be? I'm not sure if I want to sometimes. Sometimes I'd prefer to be anything but Soren. Like a donkey, for example. You have to help me. Well, I just did. You hit me hard in the face. You upset the Enderman, and I got you to safety. By the way, as far as introductions are concerned, this is not going very well. We're in danger. Oh, what else is new? Whatever your issue is, whatever your problem, it has occurred before and has been solved before. Even so, what do you need me for? I've gone out of my way to avoid these types of problems. I don't even remember what it looks like up there. Help me save the world. How? The Formida bomb. There's a wither storm on the loose and it's eating the world. Ah, I see. You misspoke. You don't need me. You need my stuff. I've found that when you give people what they want, they turn on you. They become resentful. They show their true colors. I won't do that. <laughs> it's only natural. It's why I prefer Enderman. They always do what you expect, almost to a fault. You're a stranger. And what you're asking for is too dangerous. I have the amulet. What? Gabriel gave it to me. Gabriel? Gabriel asked me to reassemble the Order of the Stone. The Order of the Stone? They asked for me? I've always known they needed me, but I was never sure if they wanted me. It's lonely down here without your friends. Eligard is your friend. Hmm, I don't know. Does she ever talk about me? Uh, sure. What kinds of things do they say? Specifically? Give me an example. That you were the best of them. Well, that's very nice to hear. But what about you? Are you my friend? As long as we're on the subject? Not to put you on the spot? Sure. Ah, that's the best thing I've heard in years. Admittedly, it's not a very high bar. Don't worry. I'm going to help you, because that's what friends do. Before we leave, I'm going to give my old friends a gift. The gift of song. 
Gary may seem scary, but he's a swell guy. Sally dilly dallies, give her credit, she tries. They might look the same to the untrained eye, but that's a lie. Yeah, let it. So I say. Wait, is that. Are, are, are you? Soren! Whoa! Nice to meet you, Soren. <coughs> you look terrible. Seems a bit odd. They've never been inside before. What's happening? You've upset them. You've altered their behavior. Okay, let's go. 